Hello friends, this video is the second video in the series of videos on linked list. In the last video, we have seen what is linked list and what are the differences between arrays and linked list. So in this video, let's see how to create a linked list, the code for creating the linked list. So for creating a linked list, we first define a structure and the name of the structure is node. Okay. So inside the structure, there are two elements, data and the next pointer which holds the address of the next node in the linked list. So see, inside the main function, you have to declare some pointers of data type struct node for using these pointers in the program. So as you know, in the linked list, there are elements taken from the user as input. So see, first you have to ask the user, enter total number of nodes means in the given linked list how many number of nodes you need suppose the user wants to create list of roll numbers of student in a class so you have to ask him how many number of students are there in the class okay so generally we will write enter total number of nodes now scan f at the address of n means you have to take the total number of nodes to the variable n okay now printf node number percentage d and that is i so what is i c you have to start it from the first node so i will be declared as 1 okay i will start from 1 because this is the statement to take the first node okay first node in the linked list so c scan f percentage d at the address of element means the variable element will take that user input will take that element so now for the first node in the linked list you have to create that single node separately you should not take it in the for loop you should write that separately and for all other nodes in the linked list you have to write the for loop okay this is my method so first take the initial node so see the first element is entered suppose for example the first element entered is 5 okay and the total number of elements are 4 okay so n is 4 and the first element entered is 5 so now temp equal to struct node star m alloc size of struct node so we will start at the end here c truck node is the structure here this is now one data type okay so size of that data type so see here how much size for integer for integer it needs four bytes in the modern compilers it takes four bytes for integer and struct node star next and for this pointer it takes 8 bytes okay so for a pointer in a 32 bit compiler in a 32 bit compiler pointer takes 4 bytes and in a 64 bit compiler pointer takes 8 bytes okay see pointer takes 8 bytes for a 64 bit compiler so we will assume the program is running on a 64 bit compiler so it takes 8 bytes right so here the size of struct node that size will be 4 plus 8 12 bytes so 12 bytes size is calculated of this data type and with using this malloc function by this function this size is allocated in the memory okay means the node is created in the memory of that size and the memory is allocated to that node okay now what is struct node star so as you can see this stem is a pointer to the data type struct node to this structure this is a pointer so this node is assigned a pointer temp okay but to make temp to point to this node you have to typecast 
this node means you have to create an element of type pointer so this is type casting okay so a pointer of data type struct node is created by using this and is assigned to temp okay means now temp will point to this node temp okay so in short temp will be the variable pointing to the node of data type struct node okay i'll give you an example a simple example for explaining this so suppose integer a equal to 3 and character c okay so if you want to assign a to c you have to typecast a in character right so here it is it is character i'll write it here again c equal to char and a so c this is the statement so a is typecasted into character because the data type of c is character so typecast a to character data type in the same way, what is the data type of temp? It is a struct node. So, we typecast this memory into struct node data type. And because this temp is a pointer, we are typecasting it into a pointer data type. Okay. Temp is a variable pointing to a node of data type struct node. Okay. So, this is the meaning. Now, let's assign elements to the node so temp points data equal to element means the first place is of data so let's assign the data so the data first is 5 element is 5 so element is assigned to data so that is 5 so this is data and the next pointer data and the next pointer are the two elements so Temp points next equal to null. So, this is null. Okay. Means it does not point to any node. So, that is null. Okay. This does not hold any address. So, that points to null. Right. And P equal to temp. So, see as this is a temporary variable. Now, we will make pointer P to point to this node because this temp variable is going to hold some other addresses further in the linked list. So, we are assigning a permanent pointer P to this node so that the pointer temp is free to take other addresses. Right. So, now this is the creation of first node. This is the creation of first node. So, now just remember there is one statement we have to write here to point to the starting node of this linked list. Okay. We will write this statement afterwards further in the code so that you completely understand the meaning of this sentence. Okay. So now for i equal to 2 from the second node to the last node. See this code is exactly similar to creation of first node. Okay. See, these statements are similar to these statements, very similar. These three statements are similar to these three statements and the first two statements are similar to these two statements. Means these five sentences are similar because the, the input taking procedure and the creation of node procedure is same. Okay. So, the second node, for example, the second element is 6. So, take that element, create temporary node. So, let us create temporary node, the second node. So, assign that element to that place. So, the element is 6. This is the data and the next pointer becomes null. Okay. See, null is assigned to the next pointer. Means, there is no address here means you can write null here as well okay so that doesn't make any difference so now let's concentrate on these two sentences 
P points next equal to 10. See, this is P and the next variable pointer of P will now point to temp. Right. So, now what is temp? Temp is our new node. So, see, this node is the temporary node. Okay. As you know, now the new temporary node is this node. So, now concentrate on these two statements. P points next equal to temp. So, the next pointer of P will point to temp. What is the meaning of that? It will hold the address of this node. So, suppose this node is allocated address 2012. Means this node is allocated memory at address 2012. So, the next pointer will hold address 2012 here. Okay. The address of next node. So, now P points next equal to temp. Okay. And now P will move to the next node. See, for the loop to work, this P should go to the next node. Because when P goes here, this temp which was here, the temporary variable will be free to take address of the next node. Okay. For next node creation, temp will be free when P moves to the next node and holds the address of this temporary node here. Now, P holds the address of this temporary node. So, temp variable is free to take the address of next node further in the linked list. Okay. Now, before all this, before all this, you have to remember you are losing something here. So, what was the current state? Temp was pointing to this node and P is pointing to this node. P points next equal to temp. Now, in this statement, P is equal to P points next. This statement, P moved on to the next node. So, when it moved on to the next node, we lost. We lost the address of this node. This node address is lost now. Okay. So, for holding the address of the starting node, which is very important to traverse the node. So, you have to always hold the address of the starting node. That statement should be here. Whenever you create this single node, this starting node, separately, you have to make a pointer start hold the address of that starting node. Okay. See, this is the starting node which we had created here. So, I assigned the address of that starting node to the start variable. Okay. Let's declare it here. Right. See, star start. So, you remember we created a node separately. That node was temp node at first. So, we assigned temp to P to make that node permanent. Also, assign temp to the start variable. So, that even if P moves on, even if P moves on, the variable start is holding the address of starting node. This start variable will never move now. It will be at the start node <coughs> till the end of this code and it will be useful to traverse the node after we complete the creation of this linked list. Okay. So, that is the procedure you have to do before you move to the next node. Okay. So, P now moved to the next node here. So, that is the statement after this statement that important statement start equal to temp and again in the for loop now for the next node. So, now I will become 3. So, suppose this next element entered for scan if at the address of element the next element entered is 10. Okay. So, again a node is created the data of that node is 10. And the next pointer of that node is null. 
and this node is temp okay so just delete temp written here now the new node is temp and go to the next statement p points next equal to temp so p holds the address of the next node suppose this node is allocated the address 2080 so this will hold 2080 means the address of the next node and now p moves on p equal to p points next so p again moved to this node okay so p points to this node right so p and temp now point to the current node now again in the for loop i will become 4 and suppose the next element is suppose the next element entered is 12 so data of the next element is 12 and next pointer will point to null as usual this is the last node remember so enter the node number that is 4 and scan if the next element is suppose 12 so see create the node and what is the data of this node data of this node is 12 and the next pointer is null means the next pointer points to null so now right here the name of the node is temp okay so this is the temp node so now temp is the new node that is the element 12 so p points next equal to temp so this node will hold the address of this current node suppose the current node is allocated on address 3000 so this will hold address 3000 and p will move on so p is equal to p points next so p moved on to the current node right so as i is 4 and the total number of elements are 4 so this for loop will end now and will come out of the for loop so in this way we have created a singly linked list this is a singly linked list okay and what is the starting of this singly linked list the pointer start okay so you can pass start pointer to any function now if you want to traverse the node then function traverse and parameter pass this start okay you should pass this start void traverse void traverse and the parameter pass this start and you can write the code inside okay so we are going to see the code for traversing the linked list in the next video of this series hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you